I meet everyone once again. My name is Maya, also known as Kitty Moon from My Pig in Life. I was suggested by someone to do a video on how to make a wand. And then a little bit later on, I got a suggestion from someone else asking me if I could do some more witchy how-to videos. I haven't done a witchy how-to in literally ages, so I decided to combine the two video ideas. Also guys, I just want to tell you something really big that has happened in my life recently. It's probably the biggest life update I've got so far for you guys. I have become an aunt for the first time. Now I have a nephew! Yay! I actually did a blessing for him yesterday, so it's something completely different. I haven't got to meet uh, the parents with the baby and stuff, but yeah, you know, it's just something completely new in my life. So anyway guys, today's video is a witchy how-to on how to make your own wand. In order to make a wand, you're gonna need a branch, and you can find that obviously in trees, or you can find branches that have fallen on the ground. It doesn't really matter as long as you find a branch. But a common principle in Wicca is that before you take a branch from a living tree, it is polite to uh, quote-unquote ask the tree for the branch before actually stealing the branch. Some people may not find this necessary, but I'm just putting it out as a reminder of sorts. After that, you're gonna Gonna need a knife and depending on how smooth the branch is you're probably gonna need some sandpaper as well but since I'm not planning on making a new wand I'm planning to demonstrate how you're gonna make your wand with my own wand making a wand in itself is not a very complicated task but the process is pretty time-consuming so I would just say that make sure that before you make a wand make sure that you have the time what you're basically gonna do is you're gonna use the knife to shape and form your wand into the shape you want it to be. How much time you use making your wand or shaping your wand depends on how much of a perfectionist you are, but if you want the wand to look somewhat decent, you're gonna have to put some effort into it. Another thing that I think is relevant to mention is that I've made a fine line or I've made like a line between the handle and the actual wand so that it's comfortable for me to hold it when I'm gonna cast circle and so that it's easier for me to see where I'm supposed to hold and how I'm supposed to hold it. Not everyone does this however and many people just choose to form a wand without any handle and just like it's basically just a stick uh, that you just hold however you want basically. I have carved a pentacle into my wand. The pentacle is a typical symbol of Wicca, so I thought it was pretty relevant. You may see Wiccans and witches carve gems or like crystals into their wands. I didn't have any crystals at the time to do so, and I thought that it would take way too much time for me, and I, I basically, I'm gonna be honest, I was lazy so I didn't care. But I found out that I can just use my, for example, crystal necklace, my citrine necklace that I have showed you guys once before and I just I just spin it around in some formation around the handle of the wand and then I can use it with a crystal if I like to. And this is pretty simple. All you need for that is a crystal and a thread and you're pretty much good to go. So there you have it. Those were the basics on how to make a wand uh, according to how I have done it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did find the video helpful make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos every week on Wicca, Paganism, and Witchcraft. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching and blessed be from My Pagan Life.